Hey everyone, this is Wood again with a new Minecraft video. Uh, this week I have a new building I made in my multiplayer server. It's a redstone factory. Uh, it's actually an homage to redstone. What I did with this is a building with the most redstone I could fit into. Um, let's start with the front here. This is a mini nuclear silo. Uh, it's in meltdown actually right now. Sorry for that. Uh, it's in alert mode too, so I've got the redstone light, redstone torch flashing around it. So that's about the silo. We'll get into it uh, after. This is the entrance with red redstone factory. Open the door. Press this button. Ding dong! There's a doorbell and the door opens after a little period and stays open for you to have the time to enter. This here is the reactor maintenance. Here is the door to go inside the nuclear silo and to open it there's three end gate. One ear, one ear and one ear that is I think a new model that I developed. Uh, the input being side by side here and you can put the output either way there or there uh, it doesn't really matter so I had to invent this to fit the three end gate three different end gate I wanted uh, in one room so to open the door uh, the two conditions of this end gate must be met and one condition is from this end gate and the other is this end gate so the four switch on the four yellow block must be turned on so the light will be turned off here so I have this one powering this one which is turned off so condition one on the end gate for the door is met next and this one is powered so now the door is open and here we can see the nuclear core with the coolant around it. Uh, here uh, the redstone thingy is for the outside, we'll get to it afterward. So that's just it. It's all just uh, for looks about, uh, by the way, so nothing here really does anything work, anything is just an homage as I said. This is quality control for... I hate it when the buttons does that. Uh, it's a test bench actually for uh, the multiple product that are developed in this facility. Uh, this is actually the RS Norlatch I invented. I posted a video on YouTube. Um, it's for testing... Uh, the yellow block are for the product test. And this is just the device that tests it. Uh, actually this one is connected to the door here, uh, it's uh, not a mistake, it's a space question, it only fitted like that. I didn't want to be in front of the window, so that's all there is to it. So here I test a redstone repeater, and here I test a redstone torch, and here the torch is tested there, and the redstone dust is tested here. Here there's a clock to test different things. The output right now is this torch and this torch being on this block, the yellow block. So the yellow block are the test bench. Here is a duration test. So uh, we put redstone torch here for hours on end, months on end to see when they burn out. Uh, yeah, here is the product showroom. Here is just a uh, kind of a museum of redstone if you want. Uh, here is the traditional RS Norlatch. So the output is here and now it's the other side. There. Here is the good old repeater and the new one beside it which you can now delay. Super fun. Here's an uh, example. Funny of uh, redstone vertical transmission downward and upward powering off the torch here is an implies gate uh, 
check out about this on wiki if you want to know what it does I used it in my uh, 1.5 train station uh, here's another example of vertical transmission through redstone dust and redstone torch here's an AND gate the normal way the standard way which is not used in my cold, uh, nuclear uh, access room here's another vertical transmission with a switch and here we see the inside of the factory which we'll get to in a moment just want to show you outside with the cows I've built a little green roof on those two floors so kind of neat touch I think so now for the factory time um, the refinery before I get to explain all of this we'll just go here a moment I'm just gonna show you this is the redstone growing facility which uh, is the purpose for this building but it's all fake and this room is cheated I just want to mention it it's the only thing cheated on my server um, it's a uh, I mixed up an ID code at one point in the beginning I wanted to give me some redstone because I was lost and I needed a compass but I gave me ore instead and I never threw it away I just kept it and now I found a use for it so I put it in a wall here to simulate the growing of redstone ore by the torch on the wall and the floor and here to fit the team to the ore is extracted from the wall and stored in this room and now when we harvest the ore here it doesn't give dust it gives you ore that's why I have a cart here uh, yeah it's in the chest inside so let's just pretend there's a cart with a chest on it so uh, I fill the, ch the, the cart with redstone ore send it to the factory it goes the way here down here and inside here yeah inside here there's a beautiful button to open the door gives you a lot of time to enter just uh, there's no button for the to go outside this button doesn't control the door it control the tracks here uh, so when your cart arrives here you take the redstone ore you put it in the cart here and you send the cart with redstone ore through the, through the quality control scan push the button here the cart is sent and the display is lit up it to simulate computer scanning analyzing and checking good okay when it's done you send the cart back and you transfer the ore in the yeah, transfer the ore first in the refiner so you fill it here and out this way comes the pure redstone ore pure redstone dust extractor so this is the main on off switch so when I put it on the factory creates redstone dust ain't that beautiful So this is actually a dispenser filled with redstone um, because there's a block in front of it the redstone dust is thrown sideways so convenient otherwise it would go into the maintenance hall maintenance hall is only to refresh the clock when the server restart and this is the waste converter to clean redstone energy and it flashes all the way up on the chimney let me just show you there you go so that's it I think uh, we've covered everything yeah nuclear silo 
the fact that the door here is not controlled by this button is because this door is on the right side so the hinges are here on the right side of the door and I have to invert this door so it stay closed and it must be not powered to be open so there's a torch underneath and if you push put a button beside it it won't work because the door is already powered which makes it closed and that's it I've arranged a little landscape to clean this up a bit it was uh, all dug up to the mountain flat all this to the sea so I've added all this make a beautiful fountain sometimes animal drown in the top and that's it thanks for watching